The 2018 edition of iPad, also known as the iPad 6, may not have necessarily been the most memorable model of iPad, but certainly got the same prototype treatment that any other Apple device gets. Welcome to another Apple demo video, and today we're going to be taking a look at yet another prototype device. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a prototype iPad. This particular prototype iPad is of the post ramp qualification stage, or to say it simpler, this device is of the product validation testing stage, which essentially is just the stage that happens right before mass production. This particular prototype iPad runs the non-UI operating system, also known as Switchboard, which is extremely common for prototypes that were used for factory testing. However, this particular iPad has many prototype stickers on it, additionally having the plastic film that's on the screen of the iPad that would have been used to protect it during manufacturing, and even has handwriting on the back from one of the Apple engineers. Before taking a look at the software, let's inspect the outside of this prototype iPad. Starting with the information that's visible on the front, we can see the device's serial number and the device's stage, which is PRQ6. We can also see what number this unit is of the PRQ6 stage, the date that it was manufactured, and even the gigabyte capacity that this iPad is. There's also another sticker on the front of the iPad, but this one doesn't quite tell as much information. This sticker shows the serial number of the display and the date that the display of the iPad was manufactured. Flipping the iPad over, we can see that there's more handwritten information about this prototype. While a lot of this information has already been visible in the front, it's quite interesting to see that an actual Apple engineer handled this iPad. Just for fun, I wanted to see what would happen if I plug the iPad into my computer. The iPad actually claims to be unactivated, so it tries to activate itself, but then fails because the serial number, of course, is not valid. This, of course, would be a problem if the device was running conventional iOS, but because it runs non-UI instead, essentially you're allowed to use the device unactivated because Switchboard does not require activation to work. Another little detail is that this iPad actually claims that it's 6GB in capacity. This is just due to the partition size that non-UI uses. And now, time to take a deep dive into the software of this iPad. I will make a few comments here and there, but for the most part, I will remain silent. The reliability app currently being shown is used to basically test every hardware component of the iPad. This is probably one of my most favorite non-UI apps. I don't know what test just ran, but apparently it passed, which is good. I wonder which Apple engineer added that Unicode art to the bottom. At the top left of this app, you can actually see the internal model number of the iPad. This stencil app consists of just a few basic applications, most likely when software and or hardware manipulation would be done to the iPad. I can't actually figure out a way to exit the app, so we're going to have to hard reset the iPad. It says do not unplug, but the iPad is not plugged in.
Thank you for watching my video, and I hope you enjoy taking a little sneak peek into the manufacturing process that Apple uses to create some of the best devices in the world. If you did enjoy the video, please consider leaving a like or even subscribing as it really helps motivate me to continue to make more content like this. And very soon, there's going to be some devices that are going to be shown on this channel that you won't want to miss out on. Anyways, stay tuned for that, and I hope you have a great day.